<laughs> Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I'm here with Kay, yes. who is the owner, leader, brain behind <laughs> our our disc uh, many things, many things, many things, many things. Many things, yes. many things. Yes. Yes. Today, and so we're gonna we're gonna do a couple sessions actually. Yes. Today we're gonna focus on yes. discs. Yes. And then we're gonna focus on on images. Next images. Week. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yes. So tell us a little bit. Well, first. Start us off a little bit with what, what discs are, why sure. you love them. I love the discs, uh, yes. You love the discs. <laughs> who doesn't love the discs? Yeah. Well, who doesn't love them more than storage accounts? There you go. Yes. That's right. That's, that's, right. that's, that's right. the way that's to think key. about so it. That's the key. So you don't have to manage anything. It's key. Yes. Okay, yes. got it. If you remember, working with storage accounts for a long time was a tedious process. You yeah. had to manage the blobs and they had the long URIs and it's like so hard to that's remember. That's right. That's right. right. You want to remember the name of the disc, right? right? So with managed disks, you get to do that. You get to kind of up-level the disks as a concept up in the ARM layer. Right. Right. So then you can take uh, like RBAC, uh, process, RBAC like conditions on them, RBAC uh, policies on them. Right. And you can apply permissions. Mm -hmm. And you can work on them as like top-level resources on the same level as ma uh, virtual machines or Got anything it. else. Got right? it. And the second benefit managed disks offers is offers you high availability right. compared to storage accounts. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. we've seen in the past, the disks can, even though the VMs are in an availability set, they're in like different fault domains. Right. But the, the disks are also spread now as yeah, the sort of increasing exactly. the availability. Exactly. So the Got it. compute fault domains are aligned with the storage fault perfect, domains. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that's what managed disks yeah. really brings to the table. Oh, that's awesome. And we have a lot of new features that we are bringing to the table. And everyone and loves managed disks. Everyone loves everyone managed disks. Managed yep. disks. Yep. Okay, good. So we've seen great adoption on managed okay. disks. Yeah, okay. So, Okay, great. So that's good. Good background. Yes. Good background on managed disk and sort of the reducing the management costs and giving you high availability. Yes. Who doesn't want that stuff? Exactly. Right. Yeah. So, but now you said we've added some new capabilities. Yes, exactly. So, so walk us through what we've yeah. got here. Okay. So, uh, the first feature I want to talk about is this OS disk swap. So, if you remember in the oh. past, a lot of customers have asked us for this. Yes. So, what they want to do is like VM wasn't it working, or this something happened, or they want to restore to a previous backup of the VM. Right. Right. So they would have to delete the VM, take the disk, and yes. then attach it to a new VM. Very annoying. Right. What we've made it possible now is to take a VM and just uh, like pass in a new resource ID of a new disk, and it just swaps. You can just put in basically another yeah. OS disk, even without having to change anything else on the VM. Exactly. And then you can add that disk as like a data disk. Exactly. And then and do debugging. Yes. Yeah. Booyah. Uh, yeah. Well, that you can do before. Now you can just change the OS disk. Right. Yeah. Oh, very so cool. So walk us through this. Let's take a look How at this. How easy is this? I'm, yes. I'm, I'm intrigued. So I'm it, 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 it is one command. Oh, it's it one is command. one command. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. Judge That's this. what we aim for all this. That's like. okay. If, we, one if we can do it one command. One button. Yes. One all button. right. <laughs> so here I have a resource group called One OS Disk Swap RG, and Our I have a VM1. Good name. And then I, uh, VM1 has VM1 OS Disk okay. attached to it, and we'll just take a look at the disks, right? So here's the disks blade, and here's VM1 OS Disk 1, right? Now, if I go back to that resource group, you'll see I have another OS disk here, uh -huh. right? And this was previously attached to another VM. Sure. So, so right now it's not attached to anything. Exactly. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to SSH into this VM and actually show you what's on the disk so that you can actually... So I believe you. Yes. Because otherwise yeah. I'll think you're lying. That, it, that is a big part that of it. That is true, actually. Yeah. I do. You can't just put features out there that don't work. <laughs> well, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So hopefully our audience doesn't think we put a features <laughs> out there that don't work. <laughs> All right. So here I am in that VM, and I have a file called ASCII.txt, right? Okay. Good. And Linux has this great tool called CAT for printing CAT pictures, right? Mm -hmm. Great tool comes built in, mm -hmm. right? Nice. So you do. Yeah, really <laughs> well, but well, in this case, it's going to show uh, CAT yes, picture. Yes, exactly. So oh, look you, at this cleverness. You, so you get Grumpy Cat, right? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? This is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. For something so silly as swapping out of an OS, this this is an amazing demo. So well, you, you gotta you gotta make the demo. You gotta make it interesting. When you gotta make it interesting. Yeah. Well, uh, people come to this show for jokes. Right? That's right. Yeah. It's, you you got to have the jokes. But Kay, they're usually <laughs> my jokes. You're s okay. Well, now this well, is uh, Tuesdays with Kay. Well, well. This is the Tuesdays well, with Kay show. It, it took me a, <laughs> it took me a long well Tuesdays with Kay. No, I'm leaving. That's it. Good. No, no, Please continue. No, continue. no, 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 no. Please no. continue. <laughs> well, Tuesdays with Kay has a nice rhyme to it. It does have a nice ring <laughs> to it. It does have a nice ring to it. It rhymes as well. That's right. And yes. That's right. So. Yeah. Um, well. It's, it's I, it, it took me a long time to come to this show, so I wanted to make something special. I kept yeah, asking yeah, you. You said yeah. I have to get the right well, demo. All right, let's make the cat not grumpy. Yes. More. I'm excited to see uh, this. Also, if I'm going to get an IMDb page after this show, you do need to get this. Yes. yes. So. Is IMDb is what you're looking for? Well, no, but if you're on a show, a popular oh, show. What's the Rotten Tomato <laughs> score on this show? <laughs> this specific show? <laughs> all 
right now because you haven't done anything. All right. So <laughs> let's. You, you showed a cat picture. <laughs> Nothing to do with Azure. Yes. Okay, but you do need to stop the VM. So this is important. Yes. So well, you can't just do it on a running well, VM, you, you obviously. Could, you could do it on a running VM, and we'll just reboot it for oh, you. Oh, OK, cool, cool. Yeah, so we, we allow that as well. So what you need to do is az oh, we got VM an AZ update. command here. OK, got yep. it. One command. The one command. Is there not a portal way to do this? So portal is coming soon. Oh, it wow. Is coming Missed soon. a big shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is coming very soon. OK, fine. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> AZ, update v AZ VM update, pass in the resource group name, pass in the VM name, sure. and then the OS disk resource ID for the new disk. And this is the OS disk we were looking at before. So all I need to do is just pass that in. It's a long, it's a long name for a disk. It is a long name, but it is the complete resource ID. That's the only thing. So I'll paste that in here. So that portal will be, will be nice. Portal will be much simpler than Got this. Got it. Okay, yep. good. Now that you've swapped the disk, we can come in here and... You got to restart the VM though, right? Yep. You stop so the VM. I'm going to start the VM because if you've swapped the disk now. So we're going to come in here and look at, we're going to SSH into the VM and hopefully see the ASCII file has changed. I'm excited to see what see, the ASCII file will look yes, like. Yes, it, it is a surprise. It is. <laughs> I hope it's a cat. OK, there you go. Starting. So Starting. Yes, and we'll just. So the OS has changed. So like the scenario that you'd use this for, what would you use this for? So give, me some, give me kind of a few. One examples. example is if the OS disk, you had a previous backup of the OS disk. Sure. Right? And something went wrong in the new OS disk, sure. right? And you just wanted to go back to sure. So there you go, you're it's up. easily swappable. Got it. So like doing good, restoring from backup, or again debugging a specific issue, or something like this. Got it, it. Exactly. Okay. So let me make sure the IP address has changed. And the IP address changed because you're not using a reserved IP. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. I'm using a dynamic. So every time you IP. stop, it restarts. It changes. Okay, yep. fine. I believe it is still coming up. So. Okay. So what else? What else? Yes. Oh, on this OS disk? Yeah, what else would you do this for? Yeah, yeah. So backup, uh, debugging. Yeah. Uh, so those are the, those those are the okay, got two it. key scenarios that you would use this for. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and doing cat pictures. And yes. And That's the other big one. <laughs> if you want to show off cat pictures. It's a great thing for you to go do. There you so go. You're in. Looks like the VM is up. You're in. Hit the password, right? All Don't right. Screw this up. Let's enter the right password. Fingers crossed. Oh, no. Uh, permission denied. This thing's like all you're using me for is this stupid cat thing. What's your password? It's the one that I'm entering. Same password. Rule number one when changing OS disks, remember your password. <laughs> well, OK. Let's reset the password. Oh, now we're going to go in and we're going to show another feature, <laughs> which is resetting the password. When, this, when you forget your password, you can now go in and reset it. We can reference to previous Tuesdays and Corey for this, right? We have a previous Tuesday. No, setting the password reset. Yes. All right, look at that. So now we're going to go and reset the password for the OS disk. We're showing lots of things here. This yeah. is going to be great. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. So and so what this is doing is because you you swapped your OS disk, you forgot the password on the new one, which, is, yes. which could happen to yes. many people. Which could happen. But now you're up and running. Because you have access to this VM, you can go yeah. and actually set the reset yep. the password. It's a great capability that we added a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's I remember. It's tremendous. Tremendous Time power. Saver, yeah. And then this is in the portal. So this, this is, is exposed in the yes. portal. You can just go in and do this. Yep. Great. Done. All right. All right. Let's try again. I'm going to be amazed if this this, 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 uh, this cat picture really better be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> let's just put it this way. All You're right. in. All right. We're in. Right? Bravo. Awesome. So let's do LS and let's. Okay, there's another cat. There's another ASCII thing. What so do we got? And? Any, any happy guess? cat, happy cat. You're right. Wow. <laughs> Bravo. So the feature worked. So we introduced this new feature, it makes cats happy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so you can now swap OS discs. It is a lot easier to do than what we just walked you through. <laughs> uh, today it's available in um, CLI, as CLI. we showed. You can also do it in PowerShell. You can do it in right, PowerShell. You can swap out the OS disk. Yep. Uh, you sh hopefully don't remember, don't forget your, the, your, your password, password to yes. log back in. But if you do, if you, do, you yes. can even go fix that right in the portal. We showed you all that as if it were planned that Kay would screw up this day. You yes. can't now take over the well, show. Uh, we were going to say you could take <laughs> over the show, but now I think at this point it's it's, it's, it's not going to happen. Well, i got to come back a few more times. you got to right? remember your password. <laughs> That's awesome, Kay. Thank you so much for your time. All awesome, right. happy cat. Yes. And uh, we'll see you again soon here to talk a little bit about uh, the image gallery. Uh, yeah. All well, right. no, no, no. There's more features on Manage Disk. There's more features? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to cut it. No, 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 no. Go. You're okay. almost out of time, though, just to be clear. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, the next feature I want to show you is called the metrics. So, we, a lot of people have been asking us about, like, how do, how do I get metrics for my disks? Yes. Right? So, I have disks. The expectation is, is I should be able to get metrics on oh, the great. disk. Right? So, we've always had metrics for CPUs. And uh, disk, so these metrics that we've had before, these are the aggregate metrics across all the disks in the VM. Now, what we've introduced is, if you just click on this, this will launch this new Azure Monitor metric cool. experience. Look at this. So now what you can do is, so I'm just going to remove these old metrics. So you can come here and click the uh, virtual machine, and then you'll see a list of all the new metrics. So for example, You'll get data disk Q depth, data disk awesome. read bytes, re write so bytes. So now you can actually track these metrics. You can alert on these metrics if you want exactly. to. Exactly. Oh, very cool. So you can detect if your disk is being throttled. Yeah. And you can take an action. Yeah, on of it, course. Right. And so, like for example, the OS disk, disk, right? So I'll just do like a OS disk re uh, write bytes for a second, and here you can see I ran some workload last just night. Just to show, just to show this. Yep. Just to show this demo, or were you actually running a, a real workload? Uh, it's just called Fire, just a simple yeah, Fire. No, so then the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> well, synthetic benchmark. It's synthetic, perfect. Yes, fine, yes. Okay, got it. For, for, cool. the, for the demo purposes. Got it. Right. So, but this Azure Monitor has a really nice integration with like, open source tools like Grafana, because we know our yep. customers use open source tools, and they might not always want to come to Portal. Got it. So what I've done is I've taken that uh, all that metrics, yep. and I've created a Grafana dashboard out oh, of cool. it. Oh, cool! Look at this. So if you look at this, so you're looking at all the OS. So you just pump all these metrics out to another exactly. tool. Exactly. That's awesome. So you can like in input these into your existing dashboard, yes. or you can create like entirely new dashboards out of it, and you can say, like, customize them like uh, whatever you want. Like for example, the way I did this is if I just went into Edit. So if you select the Azure Monitor service as the source. Then you'll get a list of all the resource groups in your subscription. Yes. Right? And then you'll get a namespace of which uh, metric you want to look at. Right. And all the resources within that resource group that I picked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this case, it was just one VM. And you'll get the same list of metrics here as well. Yep. So it is just really easy to add like your metrics to like an open source tool like That's awesome. the Grafana dashboard. Okay. Very cool. Awesome. So done with metrics, done with those disk swap. Yes. Another hot well, Okay, fine. We got we do one more? Yes. One more. Yes. We got one more. Yes. All right, go. Another feature that I get asked about a lot. If I had a penny for every day, I got asked about it. Then you'd and probably have about like 12 cents. Yes. Yeah. Well, more Maybe than that. <laughs> well, okay, so a lot of folks move. have asked us for move <gasps> menace disk. Yes, exactly. Oh, the move functionality yes. The, the move functionality is now available. So. What I want to do is move this VM, or the, uh, which is a managed VM, so with, along with the so managed disk. So the key point is you're moving a VM that happens to use managed disk. Managed disk, yes. right. Yep. And you can also move the disks sure. or the managed snapshots yes. or the managed images individually Correct. as well. Correct. So what you have to do is just select the move from here, and uh, I want to move to another subscription. Move to another subscription. Right. What and I will select my other subscription here. What? And I will create a new resource group, moved. Resources. You're blowing my mind right now. And I will hit OK. And away you go. And it's going to do its thing, validation. Validating. And then it's going to. So, and the, the, and the things that it's validating, I do know this, right? The two things that it's yes. making sure one, backup. If you're using backup right now, that's not supported. Yes. yes. And then if you're using Key Vault, so like if you're like encrypting your disks, yes. right now that's not supported. Exactly. Part of the move. But yep. these are things we are adding later. We are adding it. Yep. 
and Key Vault is coming sooner than backup, yep. but we do have a workaround for that backup Got as it. well. And this is in sort of preview, limited preview right now, but your basis, but I think everyone gets access here. Everyone uh, can get access th this now. Is, this is available to everybody. Got it, got it, got yeah. it, perfect. You, this is available to everybody. It's just those two caveats that you need to keep, in, keep in mind. That's awesome. Other than that, And how long does this take? Uh, the, and is the VM, this is an important question, the VM's not rebooting in this situation. VM is not rebooting. So it's just yeah. like moving this, the basically the, the information up at the top. Exactly. But the VM can continue to run. Yep, it's just metadata that's changing from that these resources belong to subscription. But then the virtual network is, can be a challenge there. You you do have to move the virtual network, and so fine. And other like resources, right? Yep. And IP so and so on. This is going to take a bit of time. Sure. Just sure. goes through sure. a bunch of validations okay. and the move, but it's going to complete uh, uh, soon. I believe it's like five to. We'll 10 trust minutes. you on yes. that one. Yes, yes. Thank yeah, you. The happy cat will yes. happen. Will not. We'll not sit here. We're not going to sit here and wait for yeah, this. Yeah. All right, so you showed. Okay, and so uh, are you done now? Is this, uh, yes. You got, okay. Yeah. So you, <laughs> I mean, if you want more stuff. So you showed awesome stuff with um, uh, with being able to move resources across subscriptions or across yep. resource groups, yep. one. Two, you showed the ability to swap out an OS disk. Yep. And three, you showed great new metrics for OS awesome. that you can yep. now put into both view on the portal, but also dump into third-party tools as well. Grafana. The power yep. of managed disks is coming awesome. at you. It's awesome, yep. And yeah. all the new features that we were working on. All the new, oh, that it's done. Yes. Moving resources. And it's, oh, it's moving. It, moved it, it validated and it, validated it successfully validated. said right. that they can move. If you have questions for us, comments, you've got more things from Kay, let us know at hashtag Azure TWC. That stands for Tuesdays with Corey. And uh, we'll get back to you on Twitter. So with that, thank you, Kay. Yep. And we'll thank have you. you back soon. Yep. And, thank uh, you. Thank you for joining us. Have a good Tuesday. Bye bye. And you've run this command before, okay? Yeah, when I launched this, this feature. The unit test? <laughs> uh, can you go, just make sure that that, yeah. That. Oh, it's a different. So that research group isn't there. It's a different subscription that's. Amateur. <sighs> well, it's all that restart Windows business that I had to deal with. Oh, oh. okay. Okay, so this is your fault, this is your fault. <laughs>